All right, I'm gonna be breaking down the narrow stance curtsy squat. It's different from our traditional stance curtsy squat in that when we work with the traditional stance, we're looking to stretch and accentuate the tension we feel through our glutes. With the narrow stance, we're looking for more mobility so that we can work ultimately with more complex unilateral squat patterns such as shrimp squats, pistol squats, dragon squats, etc., etc. Um, I will note that I don't have a perfect narrow stance curtsy squat. It's not at the highest order of expression, but I think it'll be important to recognize that there's some room for play inside of this movement and ultimately all of your movements um, so that you can bring that attitude uh, to different aspects of your fitness practice. Let's go ahead and start with the traditional stance. So just as a reminder, the traditional stance, you know, natural standing position, we're planting one leg, the opposite leg is swooping. We're trying to get this big step so that we can already feel a stretch in our glutes, meaning that it's under great tension, hovering or tapping gently, and then standing back up. With the narrow stance, we've got the same start, except we're not looking to step really far out, right? Narrow stance. Now, for some of you, you may need to step further out. I'm one of those people that needs to step further out. All right, I've got long legs, a femur, you know, deep inside of my hip socket, and um, that's just the reasoning behind my larger step. Now, I want to still try to work towards an even narrower step over time, but that's where I'm at right now. So we're stepping. The big thing you want to be conscious of is that your knee has some space to move forward. And ultimately, here's the difference. I'm trying to sit all the way down and ultimately try to get my heel or, or get my hips on top of my heel so that I can actually just stay put here. And then we're standing up. Now, once you find this footing, I would actually recommend just holding this instead of coming back and forth to a natural standing position, back to this position, so that you can really feel this position. I, I don't want to let my torso turn away in the uh, you know, perpendicular position to my toe. I want to try my best to keep it forward. All right, try your best is different than this is an absolute that needs to happen, okay? So just recognize that. Knees coming through. I'm finding that position where I can sit on my heel and then I stand. Okay, maybe I can adjust slightly, try to get a little bit more range of motion sitting down on the heel, trying my best to keep the chest up. It's okay if there's a slight rounding. We're not loaded. Standing back up. All right. Depending on what you're trying to get out of this movement, uh, depending on where it is inside of your uh, you know, daily fitness practice is going to dictate how many reps you do, how slow you go, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but that's really it. Have fun with this movement. Have fun with this exercise. And... Uh, have fun implementing it into your fitness practice.